Hello, my name is Raven, and welcome to my soft body jelly tutorial. Alright, the first thing we need to do is we need to set up a plane so our jelly doesn't fall forever. Wouldn't be very exciting. So, hit space, add, mesh, plane, hit S to scale it. Scale it up about 10 blender units. Then drag the plane down some. Alright, then go to the editing panel, then the physics panel, then collision, and turn on collision. If you did not turn this on and you tried to set up your soft body, it would fall right through the plane. Alright, then right click your cube to select it. Select soft body, disable goal, use goal, you don't need that for this right here where it says bending stiffness select it set that to about three go to collision turn on self collision and then set our ending frames at 125 so we'll have a five second animation then hit tab to go into edit mode on our cube hit W to bring up the specials menu and subdivide twice. And then you can leave edit mode by hitting tab again. Go to editing. Set smooth. Add modifier. Subsurf. You can leave it at default, but I'm going to set mine at 3. Then hit tab to go back in edit mode. Hit shift E. Decrease it, which will make it look more cube. alright okay next thing we need to do is we need to start testing oh wait hold on go to scene and set our end scene at 125 alright now hit oh we can rotate it rotate our cube a little bit Then hit bake. Oh, hold on, I get a better view. Bake. This might take a while. Oops, see, it's kind of bouncy. Kind of rolling around there. Alright. So now let's play that back. All day to play it back. Alright. That seems to look pretty good. Now let's give our cube and plane a uh, decent material. First thing I'm going to do is do the plane, which I'll just click add new. That should do it. Alright. Go to color. In the, select the cube. Go to color. I'm going to turn mine a reddish color. Bright red. Then I'm going to shaders. I'm going to set reflect up. And then set the specularity up a little bit higher. And go to mirror transparency. Turn on ray transparency. Turn the IOR up a little bit. Oh, right. And then turn the fresh frenal up just a slight. And then set the alpha to about a point six. I'm also going to adjust the camera so we can see it a little bit better. Alright, and then I'm going to render. Hmm. Hold on. I'm going to move the light a little bit. Alright, and as you can see, it's somewhat shiny. See what it looks like. Hit up A, or rather, hit the up arrow, hit the arrow key up to advance forward in frames by 10 units. Hit left and right to advance forward by 1 unit. Hit F12 to render. Alright. So my Q, go to shaders. I'm going to turn down my specularity a little bit. I'm going to turn my IO R up. Hit render. 
Hmm, that looks good. Okay. Now, that should probably do it for the cube. Alright. Now, let's see what it looks like. Oh yes, one more thing you could do is turn on ambient occlusion, which would greatly increase rendering time. But, as you can see... Looks a little bit better, sorta. Of. Alright, I'll leave that off for now. Alright, now, go to your rendering or your scene panel. Click this to select where you want to drop the output file. I'm gonna put mine on the desktop. And select this, and then AVI Raw. Alright, and I'm going to pause this while this renders. Alright, well, it's done rendering. So let's see what it looks like. Play. Oh, well, that came out good. One thing I'd just like to mention while it was rendering, I realized something. That even if you set a material, the default Blender material color is this. So you can change things up a bit, make it all nice and green whatever